Ministry, I'm Chief Dr. Shabu Hale of the Atsakata Nation of Yam Moors. Yes, the key to stop the matrix, say I am white. This is what people looked like in Western Europe and Britain 10,000 years ago, not what we would have expected. One, two, three, come on! <laughs> I'm Chris Stringer, I'm a research leader in human origins at the Natural History Museum in London and I'm holding here this wonderful reconstructed head of Cheddar Man and I've been studying the skeleton of Cheddar Man for some 40 years or so and now with DNA technology we've got the whole genome of Cheddar Man and here we've got a scientific reconstruction of what he looked like. Uh, we've got his hair form, his skin, his blue eyes, and that dark skin color, that combination really striking. And getting out of here, information about his biology, the fact that, for example, he couldn't digest milk uh, because that came in with the advent of farming after the time of Cheddar Man. So we're getting his whole biology, how he relates to people in Europe at the time, and how he relates to people in Britain now. First modern Britons had dark to black skin, Cheddar Man DNA analysis reveals. The 1997 OMB standards permit the reporting of more than one race. An individual's response to the race question is based upon self-identification. An individual's response to the race question is based upon self-identification. The Census Bureau does not tell individuals which boxes to mark or what heritage to write in. Census also states that what an individual's response to the race question is based upon self-identification an individual's response to the race question is based upon self-identification twice then they go back again another time what is race and it states that uh, in part the data on race were derived from answers to the question on race that was asked of individuals in the united states the Census Bureau collects racial data in accordance with guidelines provided by the U.S. Office of Management and Budget, and these data are based on self-identification. So that means you have what? A right to self-identify. This is the government. Now this is also, for those that may be questioning this, this is also applicable for So these are supposed to be the races of men. So, to the left, the black man was labeled the original Caucasian. Let me read that again. So, to the left, the black man was labeled the original Caucasian. Once again, it is a Greek, despite his chauvinism, who informs us that the Egyptians, Ethiopians, and Colchians belong to the same race, thereby confirming what Herodotus had said about the Colchians. The Colchians formed a cluster of Negroes among the white populations near the Black Sea, in brackets, Caucasians. And your Black Sea would be, would be considered your modern-day Ukraine. Gaston Mespero, 1846 to 1916, by the almost unanimous testimony of ancient historians, they belonged to an African race, read Negro, in brackets, which first settled in Ethiopia on the Middle Nile, Following the course of the river, they gradually reach the sea. Moreover, the Bible states that Mizram, Egypt, son of Ham, brother of Cush, the Ethiopian, and of Canaan, Israel, came from Mesopotamia to settle with his children on the banks of the Nile. End note. So this was published by, um, translated as the Dawn of Civilization, London in 1894, reprinted New York, Frederick Ungar, 1968 and of course there's a link so you can see even further pictures so now continuing on this is the most important picture here now you see why the white house has a problem because this is called the nilotic negro showing original types of big heads found in europe by kind permission of messrs hutchinson and company the publishers of the ugandan protectorate from the origin and evolution of primitive man by Albert Churchward in 1912. So the Nilotic Negro, that's why all the people in Europe are mad at the Africans, because the Africans know that was an area that they could migrate to because that's in their history. So these are original found in Europe. That means this is the image. When they say European, this is what it, what it is. So this is for President Trump. 
This is for DHS. This is for the United Nations. This is for Antonio Guterres. This is for the Pope. This is for the Vatican. This is for the Secretary, um, the Jesuit General. This is for all the religions on the planet. You can't talk about equality when a so-called, quote, uh, uh, Caucasian by Sir Harry Johnson, so that means he was knighted back in 1912 by Elizabeth II's father, who was King Edward IV, um, he would have been, they were already knowledgeable that Africans or Nilotics or Negroes were in existence in, in Europe as well as Africa. So therefore, the original European, this is what the original European looks like. Guys. This is a picture from a sir, a knighthood. So the elite know that the original Europeans are dark skinned. Definitions for new race and ethnicity categories. Race slash ethnicity, new definition. Categories developed in 1997 by the Office of Management and Budget, OMB, that are used to describe groups to which individuals belong, identify with, or belong in the eyes of the community. The categories do not denote scientific definitions of anthropological origins. The designations are used to categorize U.S. citizens, resident aliens, and other eligible non-citizens. Individuals are asked to indicate one or more races that apply among the following. The census also states that what? An individual's response to the race question is based upon self-identification. Following. American Indian or Alaska Native. Asian. Black or African American. Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander. White. American Indian or Alaska Native. A person having origins in any of the original peoples of North and South America, including Central America, who maintains cultural identification through tribal affiliation or community attachment. Asian. A person having origins in any of the original peoples of the Far East, Southeast Asia, or the Indian subcontinent, including, for example, Cambodia, China, India, Japan, Korea, Malaysia, Pakistan, the Philippine Islands, Thailand, and Vietnam. Black or African American. A person having origins in any of the black racial groups of Africa. There are none. Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander. A person having origins in any of the original peoples of Hawaii, Guam, Samoa, or other Pacific Islands. White. A person having origins in any of the original peoples of Europe, the Middle East, or North Africa. American Indian or Alaska Native. A person having origins in any of the original peoples of North Asian. A person having origins in any of the original peoples of the Black or African American. A person having origins in any of the Black racial groups of Africa. There are none. Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander. A person having origins in any of the original peoples of Hawaii. White. A person having origins in any of the original peoples, the original peoples, the original peoples, the original peoples, the original peoples of black or African American, the black racial groups, the black racial groups, the black racial groups of American Indian or Alaska Native, Asian, Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander, white, the original peoples, the original peoples of black racial groups, the original peoples of black racial groups, the original peoples of black racial groups, the original peoples of. Before the project started, I was hoping that I could identify or could be able to find evidence that support independent origin of Chinese in China, because I'm a Chinese and came from China, and through the education process, I always believed that they, there was something special about Chinese. He singled out a male genetic marker which only appeared about 80,000 years ago in Africa. So any man who carries that marker must have recent African ancestors and can't be descended from the more ancient Asian Homo erectus. Jin took DNA from over 160 ethnic groups around East Asia, over 12,000 samples. So what did you find? We did not see 
any even one single individual that were, could be considered as the descendant of the Homo erectus in China. Rather, everybody was a descendant of our ancestors from Africa. The result couldn't have been any clearer. But how did that make you feel? As a Chinese person. After I saw the evidences that we generate in my laboratory, I think we should all be happy with that because, after all, modern humans from different parts of, part of the world are not so different from each other, and we are very close relatives. It's great, thank you. Census also states that what? An individual's response to the race question is based upon self-identification. The first modern Britons, who lived about 10,000 years ago, had dark to black skin. A groundbreaking DNA analysis of Britain's oldest complete skeleton has revealed. The fossil, known as Cheddar Man, was unearthed more than a century ago in Goff's cave in Somerset. Intense speculation has built up around Cheddar Man's origins and appearance because he lived shortly after the first settlers crossed from continental Europe to Britain at the end of the last ice age. People of white British ancestry alive today are descendants of this population. People of white British ancestry alive today are descendants of this population. An individual's response to the race question is based upon self-identification. An individual's response to the race question is based upon self-identification. Lepers alive today that self-identify as white are descendants of dark to black skin people. Yet lepers self-identify as white and call people with dark skin black, knowing lepers themselves are mutations of the original darker hue white original sun people. It's a lot about how Europeans, how humans became lighter skinned. What Professor Chang discovered was perhaps one of the most important genetic mutations ever found. A single change among literally billions of coded instructions within zebrafish DNA that reduced black pigment from their stripes. Soon after, this identical genetic mutation was found in fair-skinned Europeans. There was a magic moment in this research. When I got back the results that showed that the number and the size and the amount of pigment in the light-skinned zebrafish were all diminished, and the same thing happened in humans, when I opened the textbook and saw that same thing, I began to sweat. Not only did light-skinned people evolve from black-skinned people, but lighter-skinned people, whether they're European or whether they're Asian, like me, were actually mutants of the dark-skinned people. This was remarkable because we had only inferred on the basis of circumstantial evidence that this must have occurred in evolution, but we didn't have any concrete genetic evidence. Now we do. First modern Britons had dark to black skin. People of white British ancestry alive today are descendants of this population. With that, we are Chief Dr. Shabu Hale of the Atsakata Nation of Yam Moors. Yes, the key to stop the matrix, say I am white. And that will stop it. Get on a webinar. You got to do a SF-181. I'll show you how to do it correctly. Have you could do her? Have you could do her? Have you could do her? White power, white power, white power. No. No. Uh. Can't hold us down. Nope. Nope.